Life's full of adventure. Are you ready for more? Cause I'm feeling something I ain't felt before. Are we gonna be friends forever? The answer is yes. Are we gonna make it together? The answer is yes. You got what it takes to be famous. The answer is yes. You don't have to ask, you don't have to ask, you don't have to I don't like the look of 5am. Uh, is this some kind of impromptu fire drill? Or are you just plain evil? Mum's away and Cleopatra must be milked. That's done at 5am. Haven't you learned anything about the country? I just learned I don't like 5am. <sighs> Lovely meal. Vintage. And yet it's on a cow. Not just a cow, more like a member of the family. Smellier than Dylan, but quieter. Hmm. So, the bucket and milk stall are kept there. The oh. clean straw is kept over there. The milking bridle is kept over here. One question, where's the cow kept? Where is she? Cleopatra's gone! <laughs> Maybe aliens are studying Cleopatra and they'll return her when they're done. Then she could write a book about it. I think we can count on that. Meanwhile, the facts are Cleopatra disappeared sometime early this morning. Early, early this morning. And she didn't just wander off. The rope has been cut. Severed by an alien laser beam. Must be from the thief's clothing. Some kind of fibre. A lumberjack in long underwear. You're not really awake, are you? Not even close. Hmm, <laughs> somebody was eating ice cream. Ice cream? I'm awake! Hmm, <laughs> lime sorbet. No, lemon. Never seen an ice cream stick like that before. Well, we've got plenty of clues to work with. I guess we know what our next move is. Yeah, sleep. Kieran Osprey, hello. Constable oh. Stubblefield, Aunt George's cow's been stolen. Hold on, I've got it. Uh, yes, got you fly. Hmm, interesting. A lot of cows in the area have gone missing lately. A rope was cut. We found some red fibre and an ice cream stick. Well, don't you think you should investigate? Of course I'll investigate. As soon as I get back from my romance novel convention, it's on top of my in-tray. Meantime, as per our arrangement, here is my niece, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. I promised I'd babysit. How big a bubble can you blow, Victoria? Oh! <laughs> you Bigger than I thought! I'm off! Fantastico, the muscly guy from the book covers, is giving a seminar on smouldering glances. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh, fantastico. Oh, it's a good day to be Stubblefield. Oh. oh, look at all the dolls, Victoria. I love dolls because you use your imagination when you play with them. This is Tyler and Skye. They were adopted by an international superstar couple. They're orphans by day and superheroes by night. That's silly. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. Anyway, have fun. Make things up. Be creative. Sally, what do you make of this red fiber? Hmm. Synthetic blend. Cheap, scratchy, doesn't breathe. Hey, I know my fabrics. I can't find an ice cream company that has rugby balls on its sticks. Maybe we should talk to an ice cream expert. Yes, how can I help you? Somebody who makes it, not eats it. Like Father Goose. His factory's right near here and it's open to the public. <laughs> You told me to use my imagination. I imagined the house was full of mean, rich people. I tore it down to make a hospital for poor people. Oh. That's better than the superhero thing. Now I imagine the dolls are angels who can fly. Whoa! <laughs> fly, angels, fly! Ow. Oh. Now that's a heavy read. Ice 
cream. This is the greatest place in the entire world. I'm going to live here. <gasps> Oops, sorry. That's okay. It only cost me four months' allowance. <laughs> That's funny then. Costumes! Yay! Max, you be little Bo Peep. <laughs> I happen to be comfortable enough with my masculinity to be little Bo Peep. You strike me as more of a Peter Peter pumpkin eater than a Bo Peep, but if you love ice cream, you're all right in my book. Father Goose, could we ask you a couple of questions? That's one question already. He's weird. Oh, Victoria, look! Free ice cream and chocolate dipping syrup. Can I dip anything? Sure, get creative. My mum's cow was stolen. We were wondering if any of yours were too. No, thank heaven. They're all in the barn, snug as Mary's little lamb. We have this stick. Good for you. I'm sure you're quite proud of it. We were wondering if you recognised the rugby ball mm. logo. Unfortunately, I do. Those rugby sticks are part of an upcoming promotion by Wally Caldwell. The rugby player? He badly injured his knee last season and had to retire. He was pretty angry about it. He's angry about everything. He's moved to our area to make ice cream. In my opinion, he can sit on Miss Muffet's tuffet. What's wrong with him? And what's a tuffet? He'll do anything for an edge. Shatter a shin bone with a stamp of his boot, or use fake fat in his butter crunch. He's a bad egg. Why would he steal cows? To get free milk? As sure as old King Cole was a merry old soul. And a merry old soul was he, so I've made my point. And a tuffet is a kind of chair. Chocolate-covered oh. handbag! Yay! <gasps> what have you done? You said I could dip anything! You said be creative! <laughs> oh, OK, OK, don't cry. Just, uh, don't pay so much attention to what I say. That's what I do. It works quite well. Mm -hmm. I guess we should pay this Wally Caldwell a little visit. He might need to spend some time in the sin bin. Uh, Ali, if you're not going to eat your handbag, can I have it? It looks tasty. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Caldwell opens the door. He doesn't recognise the kids in the mot. Oh, you can tell he's not happy. Uh, we wanted to talk to you about some cow theft. And could I have an autograph? Just make it out to lucky winning bidder. I've got a business to run. I don't have time to talk to kids. Oh, offside. Caldwell shows the yellow card. Let's make a note not to come Christmas caroling at this house. I still want to know why his ice cream stick was in Cleopatra's stool and why he won't talk to us. He told us. We're offside. Well, as long as we're offside, let's look inside. Maybe Cleopatra's in his barn. I'm thirsty. Can I get a drink? I guess. Just don't get creative. It's not me! The hose is creative! It thinks it's a snake! Bad hose! It's sorry. I'm making it sit quietly by itself. Constable Stubblefield doesn't need me to babysit. She's got a perfectly good jail cell Victoria could be locked up in. The barn had plenty of cows and plenty of flies and plenty of stink. But no Cleopatra. <laughs> Okay, Victoria, stay very quiet. Don't make a <laughs>
girls are so mad all the time. They should take a holiday and chill out. Aruba, that's supposed to be very nice. This gate was closed when we got here. Somebody let him into the pasture on purpose. <coughs> I think I know who did it. Caldwell wanted to scare us away. What's his problem? What's he hiding? <gasps> Caldwell's wide open. No one can catch him now. I'm getting irritated with this Caldwell bloke. <laughs> confident about. Where'd he go, Timmy? Ha ha ha! Constantine huh? Crazy Golf! Ha ha ha! Enjoy game now! Ooh, crazy Golf! Shh! In a minute, be quiet. Listen, Talib, I expect you to buy all your ice cream from me. End of story. Ooh, Caldwell scores! Constantine carries father goose ice cream. Constantine not scared of crazy red beard man. I always get what I want, and I want you to sell my ice cream. Next time, I'm not going to be so friendly. We're not on your property now. Why can't you answer some questions? We just want to know... But you... Why did... He could do with a trip to Aruba himself. Or Switzerland. Good cheese. We have to watch him closely. OK, but we should check some other farms tomorrow. It's been a long day. Ali said I could play crazy golf! She did, she did, she did, she did! Okay, hole number one. You hit it over the drawbridge and into the hole on the other side. I have to hit it again! I have to hit it again! I have to hit it again! Constantine is closing up, looking forward to bubble bath and toy boat. I have to hit it again! Constantine never realized how much his head smelled before being trapped in sack with it. Other than this, Constantine okay. Right, not Constantine. You've been robbed again. Uh oh. Constantine, can I have a little drink? Of course, little blonde girl. <laughs> They didn't take the money. What were they after? Maybe they're sort of zen-like thieves who reject material goods. Then what would they steal? Peace, goodwill, onion rings. Only thing missing is new shipment of Red Riding Hood Crunch ice cream. That's a Father Goose ice cream, right? Hey, Caldwell threatened Constantine about Father Goose ice cream. All done! Oh, adorable little girl, drink her fear. Kieran's owe 32 pounds, 10 pence. Ooh, Constantine not running charity. Hey, why didn't you tell us you had a security camera? Constantine not like we camera make him look. Camera adds 10 pounds to Constantine. Caldwell! No, wait! Caldwell injured his right knee playing rugby. That guy is limping on his left leg. His beard is fake! It's the same red as the fibre from the stall. It's not designer. No wonder! 
wonder I didn't recognize it. So someone is trying to frame Caldwell. And I think I know who. Got it! I knew it! Perfect match! Morning, gingerbread men. Goose alert! You guys go check the barn. I'll distract him. How are the gingerbread wives or all the little ginger snaps? <laughs> Simple Simon, the rhyming pieman, I'm a good so tight, not loose. I'm from the streets, but I still dig sweet, so my boy is Father Goose. Hmm. No Cleopatra. All the cows have Father Goose's brand. Uh, uh. Whoa! <laughs> Victoria! Stop that this instant! You told me not to pay any attention to what you say. <laughs> 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 She should have paid attention. Ew! I'm all muddy! This is a cow pasture, and that's not mud. Gosh, that's too bad. Really. Ah! I didn't grow up around here, but why would you take cow feed out of the barn? Maybe the cows ought to take away. There are brands from all over Falcon Gate. These are stolen cows. Hot beef, purloin, sirloin. Fee, fee, <gasps> foe, fum. I heard the scream of a little one. But if this odd person had kept singing, I would have screamed. You stole Cleopatra! We checked your quarterly business report and you've been doing terribly. You need extra milk that you can't pay for. And you framed that nice Mr Caldwell. Well, I guess you think you're pretty clever. <laughs> Actually, you are. Get them, chaps. Ah! Well, hello. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Murray, Alistair, don't let them out of your sight. Don't worry, I can assure you the special shipment will be on time. Time, time, my favourite rhyme. <laughs> mm. Wow, work here, it's easy, flawless clarity. I know fabrics and I know jewellery. And I also know that Jupiter's third moon is Ganymede, but that never comes up. And I bet this is the special shipment. He's smuggling jewels in ice cream. In specially marked containers of Red Riding Hood Crunch, to be exact. It helps pay the bills. Let me guess. One of the containers got sent to Constantine by mistake, so you had to steal it back. <gasps> you kids are smarter than the pig who built his house of brick, but not smarter than old Father Goose. And now, I'm going to make a new frozen treat. You! <laughs> oh, I don't want to be a frozen treat! I'm sorry I screamed! It's my fault he caught us! <laughs> oh, why isn't this thing working? Oh, I see, you have to take it off automatic and hold down the program button before you can set it to fatal. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Get off your gingerbread behind and catch them! I'll find the container! your brat skills now. Go get those gingerbread men! I can do that! Ooh. What are you doing? Making frozen gingerbread men. <laughs> Looks like Father Goose's goose is cooked. I'll call the police to make sure he ends up in the cells. Cleo, we never had you branded because we thought it might hurt. But we don't want you stolen again. So, passion fruit pink to the 
Animal Rescue. It's smudge-proof and it goes with your eyes. An emoticow emoticon! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you kids. Constable Stubblefield is disturbing in a dress. Let's be honest, she's disturbing full stop. Well, it was a wonderful romance novel convention. Fantastico signed my forearm, so I hugged him tight. Broke three ribs. He'll be okay. What about Father Goose? Oh, he confessed. The cows of Falcon Gate are safer thanks to you, Karens. Bye, Victoria. Be a good girl now. Oh, she will be. And you can babysit her any time you want. Uh, that's okay. I'll stick with hanging out with my cousins and solving impossible mysteries. <gasps> Come on, everybody. Group hug. <laughs> solving uh. mysteries is easier than babysitting.